2016, Governor Christie signed into law Assembly Bill 311, which requires all school districts to weight arts courses the same as with other courses of equal rigor. This is a landmark law because not only is it for New Jersey, but it's also a landmark law across this country because no longer will students have to choose for their passion in the arts, between their passion in the arts and their GPA. Now we had discovered that problem in the arts education partnership through some work that we had done and some research. Uh, and we were surprised to learn that the assembly leader had also drafted a bill regarding the same issue. And for the better part of the last decade, our honoree has worked patiently to navigate the complicated process of our legislature to turn the bill into law. And now, generations of students will benefit from this foresight, not only in New Jersey, but across the country as other states are actually adopting that legislation and working to move it in their own states as well. Our honoree has been a longtime supporter of the arts and arts education. He's always been there for us whenever we've needed help on it here at the legislature always answered our calls, always been there to support us. His wife, Patricia, is a very talented and gifted visual artist in her own right, and his children have been in involved in the arts as well. As a matter of fact, it was the experience of his daughter as a, in, as a high school student that was actually the inspiration for the law that he penned. Now, he, he doesn't like to admit that he's an artist himself, but he has a different art form that he uses, and that art form is comedy. <laughs> He's one of the funniest men that I've ever heard in my life, and I think that uh, he, he does us a great service with our service here in the legislature. As a constituent in his district, and with deep, deep gratitude, it is indeed a great honor and a privilege to present the Governor's Awards for Outstanding Lifetime Contribution in Arts Education to Assembly Minority Leader John Bramner. I graduated from law school, and at that point, I was only using one side of my brain. <clears throat> I didn't know that until 1979 when I met my future wife, Patricia Brentano. She is a pure artist. This is about the only time I've ever been choked up in my life before oh. an audience. It's unbelievable. <laughs> So over the past 35 years of marriage, I actually learned how to see. Now that's difficult for people who use the other side of the brain, especially a lawyer. So as I evolved over the years, I actually had some children with Patricia and one actually is a graduate of the Rhode Island School of Design. She's also an artist. I married an artist and I'm gonna to recommend to all of you, if you want a life that's not boring, marry an artist. As you feel really energized in this room, I would not have realized before Patricia Brentano that it's the environment. And if you live in an environment that's created by an artist, you feel better. And we need to tell the nation and the world how important it is your environment is. So after 35 years of marriage, I, ha I am a reborn artist. Nothing is more dangerous than a reborn artist. I even told the governor, you can veto whatever you want but I suggest you don't veto my wife and daughter's bill. <laughs> Even that would have gone too far, Mr. Governor. So Chris Christie signed the bill, I'm grateful. And today, I'm grateful to all of you and to my wife and daughter and my son. 
teaching me how important it is to be an artist. God bless all of you.